Good morning. I am Jamie Luster with Genesis Aerosystems. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us at AEA this year and learning about Genesis Aerosystems and our new products. With that, please roll video. Introducing the Airbus H125 Single Engine IFR Operations STC project. This exciting project is scheduled for completion by the second half of 2024 and will provide new operational capabilities to single engine helicopters. The solution includes the Genesis Avionics Suite, composed of dual IDU 680 EFIS displays, Genesis VHF Navcom Aircraft Digital Radio, Genesis IFR Helicopter Autopilot, dual redundant ATAHARS, dual GPS, FMS, and other equipment required to achieve IFR certification. Genesis is continuing to innovate its IFR helicopter autopilots with the addition of the fourth axis for hover hold and collective control feature that bring enhanced lateral and vertical functionality and the course intercept capabilities once reserved for military and transport helicopters. Additionally, the Genesis IFR helicopter autopilot fourth axis functionality adds to current pitch, roll, and yaw controls and provides life-saving stability augmentation in a lightweight system. Announcing the Genesis UHF Airborne Radio. This remote-mounted UHF communications radio is designed for fixed-wing and helicopter platforms. It is also designed for easy replacement of existing Honeywell Bendix King KTR-909 UHF radios, bringing high swap C savings. The Genesis UHF Airborne Radio is ideal for trainers, maritime patrol, NGO, and contract military utility operation, plus other special mission aircraft. In addition to chatting with us in our booth, please join us for our training sessions. We have one today at 1 p.m. and one again in the morning at 8.30. We will have a drawing for a free bridle cable tensioner tool for anybody who attends our training. And with that, I'm gonna take my Genesis hat off and put my AEA committee hat on for a minute and parrot what Bill mentioned earlier today regarding the member relationship committee. Please take five to 10 minutes out of your day, uh, either today, tomorrow, or Wednesday. Stop by the AEA registration booth or the AEA booth on the show floor and take the survey. It really will go a long way in helping us build better relationships between regular members and association members. If anybody has any questions about the committee, feel free to stop by the booth and talk to me about it. It's an open book. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Aero News Network's coverage of the 66th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Orlando, Florida, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors.